Lucian, a sentinel of light, is a relentless hunter of undying spirits, pursuing and annihilating them with his twin relic pistols. After Red Thresh killed his wife, Lucian set out on a path of vengeance. Even after her resurrection, his fury remains undiminished. Merciless and single-minded, Lucian is determined to protect the living from the horrors of the Black Mist. Hey there, lore lovers! Welcome back to Lion Drag, your one-stop channel for all things Runeterra lore. Today, we are diving into the gripping and emotional story of Lucian, the Sentinel of Light. From his childhood dreams to his relentless hunt for vengeance, Lucian's journey is filled with heartache, love and an unyielding drive to protect the living from the horrors of the Black Mist. Grab your relic pistols and join me as we unravel the epic tale of Lucian. From an early age, Lucian aspired to follow in the footsteps of his father Urias, a member of the ancient Sentinels of Light. While Lucian stayed in Demacia, Urias traveled far and wide, defending the living from the raids of the Black Mist. Urias shared stories of his adventures with Lucian, where bravery and cleverness prevailed. Lucian was captivated, imagining himself protecting Runeterra alongside his father. However, Urias did not want Lucian to follow his perilous path, hoping to keep his family safe. Lucian eagerly awaited the day he could become Uriah's apprentice, but that day never came. Instead, Lucian remained in Demacia, growing increasingly disillusioned with its culture. He particularly resented the kingdom's exile of peaceful mages. Lucian found purpose in helping the exiled on their dangerous journeys. Where others saw only criminals, Lucian saw people in need. One day, Lucian returned home to find a stranger at his door. She introduced herself as Senna, a sentinel of light, and held Uriah's relic pistol. Senna explained that Uriah had died fighting the raids of the Black Mist. Senna had been Uriah's apprentice fighting by his side for years. Lucian was shocked. Not only was his father dead, but before him stood a woman who had lived the life he had always desired. As Senna prepared to leave, Lucian insisted on joining her. He knew what came next, the vigil for fallen sentinels. Senna reluctantly agreed. During their journey, they shared stories about Urias, finding comfort in each other's company. They held the vigil at Urias's birthplace, far from Demacia. As they prepared to leave, raids attacked them. Senna fought them with grim determination, revealing that the Black Mist had cursed her since childhood. During the battle, Lucian retrieved Urias's pistol and, with a burst of light from his sorrow, helped Senna banish a raid. Senna was impressed, recognizing Lucian's potential to join the Sentinels. Quick break, Lord Lovers, if you are enjoying the story so far, don't forget to hit that like button to support the channel. Your likes really help me bring more of Runeterra's rich lore to life. Now, back to Lucian's incredible journey. Senna eventually entrusted Lucian with his father's pistol and trained him in the ways of the Sentinels. Lucian proved himself worthy and a bond formed between them, Lucian's warmth complementing Senna's discipline. Together, Lucian and Senna fought the evils of the Black Mist and their partnership blossomed into love. Lucian's desire to heal Senna's curse became a relentless pursuit. In a forgotten vault, they were attacked by the Wraith Thresh. Despite Senna's call to retreat, Lucian pressed on, leading to a fatal mistake. Senna sacrificed herself to save Lucian, her soul claimed by Thresh's lantern. Senna's death nearly broke Lucian. For years, he roamed Runeterra, consumed by anger and bitterness. Wielding both his pistol and Senna's, he hunted Thresh, hoping to free her soul. When he finally shattered the lantern, Senna emerged instead of finding rest. Lucian and Senna's love endured even death. As Lucian struggled to accept Senna's altered form, he also faced his own changes. Now, Lucian fights to reclaim his formal self while grappling with the reality that the dark forces he despises are what keep Senna with him. Though Senna has returned with a new mission, Lucian remains fixated on destroying Thresh, 
convinced that the chain warden schemes are far from over, and he was right, as we now know that Thresh managed to escape his spectral form from the Shadow Isles and is now doing something in Naxos, we don't know yet what, but he is planning something big, maybe something that's gonna be a League of Legends event in the future, or even a game like the Mage Seeker was, I'm just dreaming. Though very serious and highly dedicated to his cause, Lucian also made some relations during his life so far. Of course, the most obvious relation is the one with Senna. Lucian and Senna are husband and wife. Lucian's father, Urias, saved Senna as a child and later helped her become a sentinel. Senna first met Lucian to deliver the news of Urias death. Over time, love blossomed between them and they became husband and wife. Senna also played a crucial role in training Lucian to become a sentinel. Tragically, Thresh killed Senna while she was trying to save Lucian, fueling his intense hatred for Thresh and the Shadow Isles. Lucian traveled to Beachwater to pursue Thresh and discovered Senna's soul trapped inside the Chain Warden's lantern. Lucian continued to hunt the mist to free her, eventually succeeding, though he did not expect her to return to life. Despite Senna's freedom, Lucian remains fixated on taking vengeance on Thresh, convinced that the Chain Warden's schemes are far from over. Lucian met Misfortune during the events of Shadow and Fortune, where they fought together against the undead from the Shadow Isles in Bilgewater. Although they parted on friendly terms, Misfortune later betrayed Lucian and the Sentinels of Light to Viego, hoping to persuade him to help her claim Bilgewater. They also encountered Olaf during the same events, though neither paid much attention to him. Olaf would later forget meeting Lucian. After freeing Senna, Lucian and Senna shifted their focus to stopping Viego and his Black Mist. Upon learning about Senna's connection to Isolde, Viego's wife, Viego pursued the couple and ultimately succeeded in reclaiming his soul despite their efforts to stop him. Of course, as we all know, Viego was stopped in the end, and his soul, his soul is now released and finally free to take her eternal rest. Gwen joined forces with Lucian and Senna to support the Sentinels of Light and oppose Viego. Lucian and Senna recruited several Sentinels of Light to help them battle Viego, including Diana, Graves, Irelia, Olaf, Pike, Rengar, Riven and Vayne. Lucian and the rookie sentinel saved Rengar from raids while traveling to the jungles of Ishtal in search of a fetter. Lucian traveled to Shurima to find the Absolver and met Akshan. Initially, Akshan refused to join their cause, but he later had a change of heart and revived Lucian after he was killed by raids. That's it for today's deep dive into League of Legends lore. That was Lucian's story, lore lovers. I hope you enjoyed this journey through the trials and triumphs of the Sentinels of Light. If you did, please like, share and subscribe to Lion Drag for more Ultera lore content. And don't forget to join our Discord server for more in-depth discussions and to connect with fellow lore enthusiasts. Thanks for watching and until next time, keep the light shining.